let me lay out a very specific situation for you. Let's say you live on the northern coast of Manitoba, Canada. Oddly specific, I know, but bear with me a second. It's a beautiful place with breathtaking landscapes and fascinating creatures. Creatures such as beluga whales, arctic foxes, and polar bears. Now, all of these animals are amazing to look at from either a safe distance or vehicle, and the majority of these creatures are very friendly. But on the odd occasion, they may be extremely dangerous, especially the polar bears. Oh, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. So what happens if you come across an agitated polar bear? Well, naturally, you'd call animal control, and they'd likely kill it. But that's not very humane. Surely there must be another way to deal with an angry polar bear. Well, in the small coastal town of Churchill, Manitoba, the citizens of the town have come up with a strange way to deal with the riled up bears. They essentially arrest them and throw them in jail, like they'd just been caught stealing a car or robbing a bank. You see, during the summer and autumn months, thousands of polar bears trek to the coasts from inland Canada, ending up along the shores of Hudson Bay. For the last so many thousands of years, this hasn't been too much of a problem, as this area of Manitoba is quite remote, with only a few small settlements of indigenous Canadian people living there. But when French and Danish explorers set up camps there in the late 18th century, things began to go awry. The town of Churchill was established not long after, and has continued to increase in size and population over the last few hundred years, with it now being home to a major seaport and various environmental research centers. But with the growing population came the growing risk of the polar bear's trip being disturbed by human activity. The polar bears weren't used to the humans and their man-made structures, and understandably, became a bit upset. I mean, how would you feel if some strange alien structure were blocking the path that you and your ancestors had walked along for the past 50,000 years? I know I'd be pretty annoyed. This led to polar bear attacks on humans becoming increasingly more common, and many townspeople had lost their lives over the decades. Now, how exactly this next part played out is a tad uncertain, as some sources tell different stories. But for the sake of this video, this is how the polar bear prison came to fruition. For the past couple hundred years, if there was ever a polar bear causing any trouble, they'd just be shot. But the public weren't all too happy with this. The bears are out there, just trying to live their best life, and the humans go and shoot them, even though the humans are the ones causing the distress in the first place? Now, apparently, after a fatal attack in 1983, the town commissioned an old military morgue to be transformed into a sleek, state-of-the-art polar bear jail? Now, as wacky and funny as this may seem, it's actually surprisingly effective at rehabilitating the bears, making sure they're no longer a threat to the townsfolk. If a bear is considered dangerous, they're tranquilized, marked, and placed in the polar bear holding facility, as its official name states. They're then kept there without food or water for long periods of time, before being released back into the wild in the winter months when the Hudson is fully frozen over, meaning that the polar bear is no longer stranded on the coast. The polar bears are fine without food and water, as they're naturally adapted to fasting for weeks at a time. The bear is then picked up by a helicopter and dropped off far away from Churchill. Hoisted by helicopter and released far outside of town. The reason the bear is marked is so the workers can tell if that specific bear has been arrested before. If they have, it could lead to an extended sentence. It's kind of like getting a yellow card in football or soccer. If you get another, it's a red card and you are sent off. Or like getting points on a driver's license. Too many points and you get your license taken away. The jail itself is actually pretty huge. As of 2018, the jail is fitted with 28 cells, with each cell being big enough to house one polar bear, and some cells even being able to fit a family of four polar bears. Now you may be wondering, how does putting them in jail actually prevent them from attacking the town in the future? Well, the idea is that having the bears be in solitary confinement for long amounts of time will cause the polar bears to fear coming back towards the town, as to avoid being locked up again. Although this method may be slightly unorthodox, it seems to have worked out well for the people of Churchill, Manitoba. Because of the sheer number of polar bears that surround Churchill every year, the town has been given the nickname, the Polar Bear Capital of the World. This has led to a big tourist boom in the area, and with the polar bear jail, these tourists can rest easy, knowing that the delinquent polar bears, Canada's most wanted, are behind bars.